Proverbs. Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. This is the word of God. To learn about wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for gaining instructions in wise dealing, righteousness, justice. Iniquity to teach students to the simple knowledge and prudence to the young. Let the wise also hear in gain in learning and discerning acquire skill. To understand the proverb and the figure, the words of the wise and their readers, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instructions. Warning against evil companions. Hear, my child, your father's instruction, and do not reject your mother's teaching. For they are a fair garland for your head, and pendants for your neck. My child, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, "Come with us," let us lie in wait for blood. Let us wantonly ambush the innocent. Let us, let us, let us shallow, swallow them alive and whole, like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of costly things. We shall fill our house with booty. Throw in your lot among us. We will all have one purse. My child, do not walk in their way. Keep your foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil, and they hurry to shed blood. For in vain is the net butter, while the birth is looking on. Yet they lie in wait to kill themselves, and set an ambush for their own lives. Such is the end of all who are greedy for gain. It takes away the life of his possession. But possessors, the call of wisdom, wisdom cries out in the street. In the squares, she raises. Her voice. 
at the busiest corner, she cries out. At the entrance of the city gates, she speaks. How long, O、oh、simple ones, would you love being simple? Our Lord was scoffers delight in their scoffing, and fools hate knowledge. Give heed to my reproof. I'll pour out my thoughts to you. I'll make my words known to you. Because I have called, and refused, and you refuse. Have stretched out my hands, and no one heed. And because you have ignored all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when panic strikes you. When panic strikes you like a storm, your calamity comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but will not find me, because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Would have none of my counsel, and despise all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their way, and be sodded with their own devices, be sodded with their own devices. For waywardness kills the simple, and the complacency of fools destroys them. But those who listen to me will be secure. They will live at ease, without dread or disaster. The value of wisdom, my child. If you accept my words. And treasure up my commandments within you, making your ear attentive to wisdom. Inclining your heart to understanding, you will indeed cry out for insights. And raise your voice for understanding. If you seek it like silver, and treasure it as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He store up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk blamelessly, guarding the paths of justice and preserving the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand righteousness and justice and equity, every good path. For wisdom will come into your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Prudence will watch over you, and understanding will guard you. It will save you from the way of evil. And those who speak perversely 
who forsake the paths of uprightness, to walk in the ways of the darkness, who rejoice in doing evil, and delight in the perverseness of evil. Those whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. They will be saved from the loose woman, from the adulteress with her smooth words, who forsakes the partners of her youth, and forgets her sacred covenant. For her ways lead down to death, and her paths to the shade. Those who go to her never come back, nor do they regain the paths of life. Therefore, walk in the way of the good. And keep to the paths of the just, for the upright will abide in the land, and the innocent will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. Money ancient to trust and honor God. My child, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For land of days and years of life. In abundance, welfare they will give you. Do not let loyalty and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart, so you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and of people. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge Him; He will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh, and a refreshment for your body. Honor the Lord with your substance, with the first fruit of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats. Will be bustling with wine. My child, do not despise the Lord's discipline, or be wary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves the one he loves, as a father the son in whom he delights. Happy are those who find wisdom, and those who get understanding. For her income is better than silver, and her revenue better than gold. She is more precious than jewels. Nothing you desire can compare with her. 
long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called happy. God, wisdom in creation. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open, and the clouds dropped down the dew. In true security, my child, do not let this escape from your sight. Keep sound wisdom and prudence. And there will be life for your soul, and a dome for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely, and your foot will not stumble. If you sit down, you'll not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden panic or of the storm that strikes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence. It will keep your foot. From being caught, do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. When it is your power to do it, do not say to your neighbor, "Go and come again. Tomorrow I will give it. Will you have it with you?" Do not plan harm against your neighbor, who lives trustingly beside you. Do not quarrel with anyone without cause. When no harm has been done to you, do not envy the violent. And do not choose any of their ways. For the perverse are the abominations to the Lord, but the upright are in His confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but He blesses the board of the righteous. Towards the scorners, he is scornful. But the, but to the humbled, he shows. Humble, he shows favor. The wise will inherit honor. But stubborn fools, disgrace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.